if you're here, you're part of the 0.001%. This means that 99% of people are not even searching for this type of content. So I'm not just saying this. I'm seeing people use this as clickbait now because it works. It works because it's true. You are part of the 0.001%. You would not even have found this video. You wouldn't be on the frequency that it requires for you to be able to receive this message. So if you are here, there are four different images that I'm using to channel a specific message from the universe. So once again, it's not by coincidence that you are hearing this voice. So if you are not ready to hear how amazing you are, if you're not ready to hear how incredible life is meant to be, especially in this next chapter of your life, then this might not be the channel for you. Okay, so this is a message for exactly where you are in this moment. You are meant to hear this. So it's a timeless video. Now, if you're in the dark and you desire to see this video is for you, I also just dropped a video on the tarot chest. Open your third eye. So if you're interested in opening your third eye, first of all, there's nothing scary. We can't be afraid to see. Are you ready to see what's next? So that's the thing. You're here because you want to know. It's okay to want to know what's going to happen. Where, do, where are you going? What is your future? It is okay to want to know these things. So I'm already jumping into the message. So I have four decks. So I'm going to save my energy for those decks. I have four different images here. Again, I'm going to be using these four images to channel a message directly from the universe and see what is coming through here. I'm already getting the message. So if you're here, subscribe to become a part of the tribe. Shout out to all 30,000 of you who just joined the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the light. Welcome to the truth. Welcome to your greatness. Welcome to the messages coming through. Card one. So if you guys were drawn to image one, this is your message directly from your higher self, the universe. If they're here, it's for a reason. What is it that you want them to know? This is directly from your higher self to whoever is listening to this right now. Your higher self wants you to know that you are being prepared for your life partner. Future self says, I am preparing your life partner. All right. So this is a text message directly from your future self. You guys can find this deck also in the description that I made. It's just an easier way to channel from your future self directly messages. All right. Future self of the person watching for the first image. What is it that you want them to know? All right. I'm, I'm hearing there's a bigger picture. There's more. All right. Just when you there's so much more. There's enough to go around image one. There's enough to go around is what I'm hearing, all right? So you're moving out of a scarcity. How did I even pick this up with this card? Okay, I'm gonna get to this. But what I'm sensing is that there's more, all right? And so never get comfortable, never get complacent because there is more. And so what you're doing right now is if there are things being ruffled and shuffled around, it is to get you to kind of move out of this comfortable place because you're desiring more let's see what this is about from future self to image one those of you who are here all right just release it so spirit is saying just release it so whatever it is you know card one what it is is what i'm hearing and it could be a person it could be a circumstance it could be something that has happened it could be a material thing all right, I'm seeing you move to higher heights is what I'm hearing. There is a bigger picture. So out of all the images, this image was taken back by a city view. So there's a cityscape behind you. There's higher heights, higher views that you're meant to see. And overall, you desire to share this with somebody is what I'm hearing. And so spirit wants you to know your life partner is being prepared. So you take that how it resonates, okay? So whatever is not aligned with you at this time, release it because you are the author of your life story. You are the one who is writing the story. However, I'm hearing, welcome to the 1%. This is why I love these videos. I can just freely speak. You already know the book. So you're the author of your life story, but you come here already knowing the book, meaning knowing your destiny. When we say, I want to know my future, what are you saying? What are you saying? So spirit is saying what I'm getting is channeling your inner child, playing games. Maybe that's why we have a whole arcade theme here. Fun, pleasure is what's going to bring you to the top is what I'm hearing. Many of you are gifted. There are so many messages coming through for card one. Many of you are so gifted. 
your mind is very intelligent. You're very brilliant and you're into very strange things. But this strangeness is where your brilliance is. Your uniqueness is where your superpowers are. It's your uniqueness. You are meant to be at higher heights. You are meant to explore is what I'm hearing. And you are the author of your life story. So Spirit is saying, you're the author. You wrote this book. But you're here because you want to know the book. That's why you're the 0.001%. You want to know. And it's also now time for you to kind of go within and see that. Let's see what else is here before we get into the tarot. You are stronger than any giant, okay? So you have overcome many, many things in your life at this moment, and you have come very far is what I'm hearing. So you've gained a very new perspective, a higher perspective, okay? And I'm just sensing that you're meant to receive and have more. Just when you thought you were full, there's more, okay? This is a, you're diving deeper into having more than you've ever had, card one. Let's get into the tarot and see what is the circumstances of card one. What is currently happening so that I can channel what's happening in their life right now? Three of wands, spirit is saying it's no longer waiting time. It's time to really align with what it is that you enjoy, what brings you pleasure, and this is what's taking you to the top, is what I'm hearing, okay? We have two of swords, making a decision, going back and forth with many things in your life currently at this moment, being stuck in your head, waiting for some type of sign, waiting to see what is next. What is next for card one? Okay, we have the queen of pentacles, once again. What's next for you is abundance luxury i couldn't make it up if i tried out of all three and four of the images that i have here you are being placed at the very top of the pinnacle this tells me you're being prepared to receive more queen of pentacles earth sign taurus capricorn or virgo even if you're not you're transitioning into this energy being grounded having your own place owning your own place not, I'm also feeling like you're doing a lot, card one. You could be doing a lot where your energy is at. And that's why Spirit is saying is to release and make room for what's coming in. Three of Wands. You have ships coming in. You don't see them at this moment. But the Queen of Pentacles is here, which tells me that you're moving into stability. Spirit wants you to know you're moving into stability. It's important that you have this on your own without a person whether you're in a relationship or not or preparing for your life partner having your own stability is important because it allows you to be your authentic self you're not getting anything from someone else it's solely allows you to be free you are meant to be in the queen of pentacles let's see what else is here okay we have the two of cups in reverse so you're dealing with a lot of relationship things i'm i'm sensing here okay because we have i'm preparing you for your life partner why is this here spirit for card one life partner nine of wands for life partner and six of wands okay so some of you most of you who are here may have not have had a lot of success in your relationships just yet i'm also feeling like it's due to what you're meant for you're you're meant for greatness and you're always going to want to be successful, fulfilled in what it is that you want to do. You want to obtain that, which is why you're also part of the 1%. And so this is actually who you are, temperance, Sagittarius energy here. So I'm seeing that there is a lot that you're releasing, okay? So what are you releasing? Doubt. Doubt about how this is going to happen, how this is going to work out, all right? So... Oh, there's so much here. There's so much here. You're meant to receive more, image one. You're meant to have success. This success is coming from what you love. Let's channel what that energy may be, who that may be. Okay, we have Heath Ledger at the bottom, so you could be into film, acting. Um, you don't have to be, but let's just see what's here. Okay, who are they becoming? Card one. Who are they transitioning into? Give me the energy of who they're transitioning into. Judy Garland, I knew this because I keep seeing bigger picture, bigger picture. So think big, okay? We also have Kobe Bryant at the bottom, which tells me share your knowledge. You have a lot of knowledge to share. 
You have a message is what I'm hearing. How you share it is going to be through something that you really enjoy. I enjoy talking to you guys here. You may enjoy writing. Once again, writing, you could be a storyteller. Think bigger, Spirit is saying. And that's why I'm feeling like if you got comfortable or complacent, things are being moved around for you to prepare to receive more. Your spirit desires more. Our egos, our selves get complacent. And so I'm seeing that you are coming into a space and transitioning into being more aligned with yourself, feeling like you know yourself, what you enjoy. And so with the Think Bigger Wizard of Oz, once again, you could be into film, you could be into acting, screenwriting, scripting, podcasting, creation of any sort. And so that's why they're saying also your inner child playing, exploring. You're here to play and explore. Think bigger. What do you want to do? What do you want to explore? It's in your hands. It's a wish come true. Spirit is saying, what do you want to do? There's a lot of rhyming. You could be an artist. You could be a writer. You could be a poet. Who are you? Who are you waking up to? Okay, there's a version of you you're waking up to. And this version is very abundant, very wealthy. You may even have help. You could be doing things on your own right now. I see that you're manifesting others to help you. So we have support. So you're not, we have her in the kitchen, cleaning and taking care of the child here. That's a lot going on. So your energy is being spread all over the place is what I'm sensing. So really bringing it in back to you. The nine of wands, look at the energy of the card. You know, you don't have to be an energy reader to see this energy. This is a wounded warrior on top of your love life on top of preparing your life partner, whether you've been waiting, um, desiring to meet someone that's on the same frequency as you. I'm sensing if that is the case for those of you, your person is mirroring this version you're becoming. You're transitioning into another version of you, okay? It's temperance here, you're coming home to yourself. It has not been easy here with the seven of swords here. It has not been easy. So let's clarify why the seven of swords is here for card one, thank you. Queen of Swords. So there's a lot of mental energy. I was picking up a lot of Aquarius energy, Libra, Gemini. This is not for you to figure out. Rest assured, your destiny is already sure. It is not for you to figure out. Now, you want, you get excited by revealing what that is. And what is that spirit? Let's just see what is in the future. Okay, and once again, open your third eye at the tarotchest.com. I literally broke it down in a three hour secret tarot reading. So definitely check that out if you want to see your own future. It's just too fun. It's too fun here at this point. We have unlocked superpowers, literally. And now it's become a trend. But you, if you're here, you actually have them. But you don't realize it because it's so natural to you. It's so natural to you. So the virtual world could be very important as well. Video games, all of this, okay? Your imagination, the fantasy world. That's why we're here in this reading today. So let's see where you're going. We have no, pause, postpone, say no. So there have been some things here, three of wands, the patient card. There have been some things that have been postponed because it's not the right time. Spirit is saying, let go of time. This only adds so much stress. Okay, time is irrelevant. Let go of time and be free and allow things to be delivered effortlessly is what I'm hearing. So wait and postpone. So we don't realize why it's in our best benefit until we look back and we're like, oh, that's why the universe did this. So spirit is saying that there are some things that are being postponed because it is not the right time yet. Okay, you're not in a place to receive right now. And that's those of you who are waiting for a life partner, you're waiting for manifestations to come in. What is this about? Thank you so much. Trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? Spirit is saying you already know. Okay, dig within. What excites you? You already know the story that you're meant to live here. Card one, I know this is crazy, but this is the case. Trust your path. You're being guided. So even if it's something that you don't think is working out, is it is because there is a path that benefits you in more than one way. You may see something working out really well, but this again is according to your plan. So to be open and to trust that you are being guided by something greater than you, your higher self, your future self, who is saying you are stronger than any giant. 
And you don't, you shouldn't have to fight. You shouldn't have to fight for love. You shouldn't have to fight for what you love. You shouldn't have to fight to be you. You shouldn't have to fight. I'm really feeling like you might be called to the card under you as well, card three. Okay. So you are transitioning into Judy Garland. I'm curious to see why this is here. We have tons of distractions in the background. All right. What else is here for what is it that they need to hear? Share your voice. Awakening. Once again, you could be an artist. You could be an artist. You could be a poet. You could be a speaker. Spirit is also saying you're protected on this path. There's no need for you to be worried about how this is going to work out. Spirit is saying, come out of the cave, share your voice. Don't be afraid of what people are going to say. Don't be afraid of persecution. As long as you're aligned with what is true to you, you can do no wrong. As long as you're aligned with who's authentic to you and what's authentic to you, you can do no wrong. So coming out of the cave and expression, you're meant to express yourself. Okay, it is time. I'm hearing sharing your wisdom. You have a lot to offer and a lot to give. That's also going to be providing a lot of abundance for you. Share your wisdom. Receive abundance is what I'm getting. So we have the 10 of cups here. Why is it in the upside down? What is the confusion here about? Three of pentacles. So this is support, collaborations, people around you, connecting with your tribe, connecting with people who are also on the same frequency. I see wish come true relationships is a big theme for you. So you're releasing what no longer aligns. These, are, these people are older versions of you. Once again, this is card three. Card three is all about, and I haven't got into it, but it's about conflict with others. And it's really a waste of time, honestly, is what I'm getting, conflict with others, because there's not enough time in the day to be conflicted about what others are thinking. It's too expensive to think about what others are going to think. It prevents you from being you, from sharing the knowledge that you do have. We have the Ten of Cups. You're meant to be in fulfillment in your relationship. So spirit saying, I'm preparing a life partner. There's nothing for you to do. It will be revealed to you soon, is what I'm hearing. So if you chose this, your life partner is going to be revealed whether you're with them or not. That's being revealed. And I'm hearing that your relationships are not meant to be a battle. Okay. So what you are in the midst of attracting in your life is support, collaborations, fulfillment, and relationships. So you're being asked to release things that no longer are bringing you peace. This, these are older parts of you that are in within others, right? Older versions of you that you no longer resonate with. Okay. Let's see what else is here before we go to card two. All right, you're here for a reason to hear a message. Spirit is saying, share your voice, share your knowledge. I am preparing your life partner. These are all confirmations here. If you're here, spirit wants you to know all is well. You are meant to be in love with your life and with this person, with your person. Okay, what else is here? What are they undergoing spiritually? Card one. Thank you. Awakening. That's the second time you're going to, uh, through an awakening of what? Seeing. Seeing. This is why I said go to tarotchest.com. Open your third eye. Just release that video. If you guys are curious to that authenticity to who you are. So before I leave card one, I'm sensing you're meant to share. All right, whether that's with the people around you, whether that's being on camera, you are coming into a new version of you. This version of you is a version you are embracing, a version of you that is not afraid of spending because you're abundant. You have so much to share. You never run out. You're awakening to seeing who you truly are. But how are you going to see this version of you physically if you have not been this version before? How are you going to see a life that you've never lived before, that you can hardly imagine? You're being asked to expand and think bigger and keep reaching and allow the universe to reveal that to you, especially through your third eye. This is giving you the ability to do that. Also, not worrying about what people have to say about you. 99% of people in the world are not being authentic. You are. So when you receive, it will feel differently. Most people have success, but they're not being authentic. So they're not able to actually retain this happiness. Spirit is saying, I want you to feel what it feels like to be in love. I want you to feel what it feels like to see yourself in the highest, greatest light. So you can never forget who you are and who you've come here to be. 
You have a voice, you have a story, no matter how insignificant it may sound to you. You are meant to share it. You are connected to a community. You are attracting a community, a new beginning. So this new beginning belongs to this new version of you. And with that, you will be releasing what was attached to the old version of you. In this sense, people, places, things, doubts, fears, thoughts that you've had about yourself. No longer living here, but the third eye, seeing above it all. Queen of Swords, not trying to figure this out. It will literally melt your brain trying to figure it out. Let the universe show you. And what I'm seeing here is success at the highest heights. And it's due to the energy that you're in. So we also have authenticity, sovereignty, independence, and uniqueness. I've been saying this. So your uniqueness is your brilliance. Your weirdness is your superpower. Let's see if your higher self wants you to know anything else as to why you're here. You're here to hear a message. Create a vision board to manifest all your desires. So many people say, oh yeah, I have a ton of vision boards. This is not a goal board. Your vision board is literally a prediction of your future. Whatever you put on that board, these visions are coming from somewhere. When you type in island because you want to visit an island, you're going to see millions of images. On page one, page two, you have the option. What you will do is you'll scroll through, but you'll choose an image that resonates with you, no differently than this pick an image card reading. There's a reason why you were drawn to this photo of an island and not the 20,000 others. There is a reason, but you don't need to know the reason before. Understand this again. This is Aquarius, Libra, Libra, Gemini energy, air energy, trying to figure it out before you experience it. Allow yourself to experience it because we will always be behind in figuring out this magnificent plan that the universe has for us. Unless you want your brain to literally melt and shut down. It's like computer shutting down. It's a lot. And so what I'm sensing here is be free to express yourself. Be free. The more freer you're feeling to express yourself and then share it, capture it, share it. And your freedom is bringing freedom to others. And then they're going to want to give you freedom. And it may be through finances. It may be through resources. It may be through time. It may be through friendship, community. Be open to receive is what I'm hearing. So your vision board, everything on your vision board is literally clues to the life you desire to live. Why do we overlook these things? Are we moving too fast? Are we just doing redundant steps? Like, okay, did it, man. I did it. I did the vision board. No, really connect. Your vision board is literally visions of your future in images because you, how else can you see it? How else can we see our future people? We need some way to tangibly see it. So once again, open your third eye, thetarotchest.com. If you guys feel like you're part of the 333 who wants to really see, I'm definitely feeling like you're being called to seeing with your spiritual eye rather than your physical eyes. All right. So overall, we have at the very bottom, you are exactly where you should be. Once again, if you guys attracted this video, it's because it was a message that you needed to hear. And that is that you are awakening. You're starting to see. So yes, you will start to see truths that have been there for years that you simply were not aware of because you weren't aware. Your eyes were not open. You could not see. And so now you're starting to see and you're like, whoa, why did I like this in the first place? Why did I date? Why was this person my friend? Okay. I'm going to move on to deck two because I'm starting to get into the message already. Image two, if you're here, it's not by coincidence. I'm hearing nothing is impossible. Let's not overlook this. If that is true, which it is, then it's meant for you. Okay, so I'm definitely sensing for you, nothing is impossible. You are part of the 1% that is here to do the impossible. I know, I know, it's a big message, so big. But if you realize that it's just destined, it won't seem so scary, all right? So I'm definitely feeling like your imagination, your third eye is very active, okay? Very, very active. You have the ability to see, you're overlooking this. You have the ability to see where you're going, what your future 
is like what it will be like. That's what I'm hearing. And this is the truth. So let's see what spirit has brought you to this reading through all of the millions of videos you could have clicked on. Somehow you mysteriously found your way here. Why do I think about this? Out of all the sperms, you were the one that survived. Like, like we could take it all the way back, to be honest. Out of all the eggs, like, <laughs> out of all the eggs, it sounds like a story being written about you. Little Timothy made his way. Yes, do you love a success story? Okay, you're the biggest success story. Get obsessed with your own success story. What makes you so awesome? Get to know yourself. This self is the one who's like, ooh, on a whole nother level, okay? Out of all four images, this one was the most retro futuristic image, okay? So you're living in the future card too. Gift, you have a gift to see. You have a gift to see. You could have already opened your third eye. So I have that video on the tarotchest.com. If you guys wanna see it, open your third eye. You do have a gift. You are meant to receive. This life is a gift. You're going to think that this life is a gift. You'll know when you've aligned with your destiny, even if it's an image or a thought that you have, when you feel like, oh my gosh, this life is a gift. Wow. This is my life? So image two, you're going to need your imagination. You're going to need it. Let's get out of logic and let's get out of analytic. We have calm, which is why we have the meditate card. Some of you might feel like mm -mm, it's too hard to meditate. All right. Meditate to music. Imagine. See yourself. You want to know where you're going. You want to see. So I'm just telling y'all to see. <laughs> it's so funny because now that I'm quantum leaping, I'm like, okay, tarot is great, but it's really just training wheels to the message that's already there. Let's activate your powers. Now I'm over here trying to activate you guys. Like that to me inspires me for you to see for yourself. Yes, I could see your future. Okay, I see it's very brilliant. Let's see what your future looks like. We have eternal love at the bottom. It's, 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 it's a wish come true. It's the jackpot. I don't even need the cards. I know they'll all align because this is the message, right? But the cards are beautiful for confirmation for us for ourselves. And the reason why I'm saying this is because it's time for you to trust yourself and trust what you're seeing, judgment. Out of all four images, you're ahead of every single one. This is what I'm seeing. And it's not to be a competition or a race. It's just in the spiritual world. The more you know, the more you seek, the more you discover, you just kind of, you rapidly expand. You outgrow people quickly. You outgrow jobs quickly. You get bored with books. You get bored with movies. Like, you may be the one meant to create them. That's probably why. I'm hearing what you create comes to life. You're the you're creator. You're the creator. And you're being like God in the universe when you're creative, which is what you really, truly desire to do. Okay? Fantasy world. Making dreams a reality. Living life like a movie. Okay? This is a song. You're meant to live, okay? You're bringing it to life through your creations. You're meant to bring your future, your life, to life through your creations, meaning eternal love. If you were on the verge of wanting to connect with your eternal love or your spirit guides are saying you have, here's your the only confirmation you need, card two, you have an eternal love that is stronger than any love you've experienced in every lifetime you are meant to experience in this lifetime. You're part of the 1%. Of course, miracles are meant to happen to you. This is not just for clickbait that I put the 0.001%, but I'm seeing people are using it for clickbait. No, you'll mess around and get it and be like, how did I get in here? Exactly. We have a lot of magic going on in here. All right. So you are meant for eternal love. You are meant to meet your ultimate soulmate twin flame. You are meant to have a, look at, at the back of it. We have marriage, okay? Marriage, you are meant to, all right? So 
you will experience a lot of loves that prepare you for this eternal love. And the truth is, is that you have to be ready to receive. You have to be ready to receive this person. So if not, you'll push them away. You'll think it's too good to be true. You'll think they have an agenda. You'll think there's an intention. You'll be like, why me? You are transitioning into the greatest version that you can be. And that is the truth. And that's what you're meant to do. And therefore, you're attracting a person just like you. But they are on that frequency. I can tell you that much. Your eternal love is on that frequency. There is no fighting. It is just peace. It is too good to be true, which is why it's true and destined for you. Somebody's got to live these love stories so that the world can see the possibility. Are you an artist? Do you love music? Do you love creating in any sense? Because I'm getting that here. The hermit. So it's time to get into introspection. We have the Virgo. Not to just do things for money. Okay, I'm going to do this and then I'm going to pay... Like some of these plans are crazy. I'm going to work here. Okay, yeah, for two years. And then I'm going to get this. And then I'm going to, it's like, do you, how do you know that company is going to even be there for two years? How do you know? So it's like all of these plans and ideas and the end result is the money. Okay, now that you have the money, let's look in the future. Card two. Now that you have the money, all of your ideas popped off, okay? Let's put these ideas and I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that. Let's put it aside for a second and really see what would I be doing this for, right? I'm doing all this for that. Let's say, let's look in the future and I finally have all this money. What is this all for? That is the life you're destined for, but you're putting it on hold because you're trying to make it happen we don't think about that until we what retire then we're going to think about what we're going to do now is the time to be thinking as if all of it was already here and what would you be doing that's the life you're here to live the hermit this is deep introspection here the fire is meant to be lit under you you are meant to be excited so excited at the life you're living. This is the life you're here to live. And your excitement benefits the world. Your inspiration benefits the world. You going this route benefits the world. It's not about working hard, Virgo. We have Virgo energy. Okay, once again, we're trying to do this and I'm going to get this plan and then I'm going to sell it. Okay, you're going to sell this greatest invention, but then what? Well, shoot, then I would go and now you're finally letting yourself be free. Do you understand what I'm saying? Why can't you be free in your imagination before the money comes? You'll never know where you're going. It's just a loop. Money, 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 get this, get it. So this is what this introspection is to take a step back here. I feel like this is where all these pauses are coming from. Are, are you doing it because you just enjoy it? This is where the inner child kicks in. Your inner child has more answers than your, your adult self. Your inner child, what would you be doing if you were already that? That's the life you're meant to live. Start aligning with that, and then the money comes. This is the truth, you guys. Deep, first of all. I'm giving you deep insights here. So I expect for a lot, look at this. Look at this, I can't make it up, you guys. Why would I be talking about money and manifestations? Five of Pentacles. Do you know what this card is? I don't even like to touch this card. It's the lack card. She's homeless, left out in the cold, begging for money. Some of you have so many fears around money. This is all you're focused on. And maybe even the people around you. Pay attention to who's really talking about the money. It's usually people who just think they don't have it. Talk about it all the time. It's like... How could people who work so hard for money and think about money all the time never have it? Something is not aligned here. Your life is not meant to be worked hard. You are not meant to be begging. You have too much to offer. But if you don't see that, if you're worth so much but you don't know, you're just giving it away for free? Justice? 
some of you giving it away for an hourly wage for a salary and still not being aligned with what it is that you're truly desiring okay so this is a lot here but once again if you just it's like we can't just be focused on the money it's so irrelevant it's just one resource to getting what you desire okay so card two you're meant to experience everything that you imagine greatly about yourself this is the truth all of your wishes are meant to come true whatever you're dreaming card for two pillar of light your vibration is rising you are the oracle once again i know i'm the oracle but you are too which is why you should never ever have to beg and be in lack your gifts this is why getting to know yourself is important what gifts do you have so you can offer i'm sensing that you're meant to share something you love to either talk about it do it be around it you're always talking about this you're always wanting to do this it doesn't matter what it is, whatever that is, these are clues to what you're aspired to do here in this lifetime, okay? We have simply focus on joy. I can't make it up. It's not about the money. It will come when you move towards your desires, but if you're just waiting for the money, universe is waiting for you to put in your order. Some of you are waiting to see it, to believe it. Believe what you see imaginatively more than you do figuratively and practically. All right, so simply focus on joy, spirit is saying, so that your, your pillar can be rising. If it feels good, follow it. You should be following what feels good, what feels good, and the next thing you know, opportunities come. It's like magic. To feel good is to feel God. So if you're spiritual, at the very minimal, you should be feeling good. This is what I'm saying, all these spiritual people, and they're, they're going through, it's like, Will, will things happen in life? Sure, circumstances, but you're not meant to suffer or struggle or go through them for long lasting periods of time. They are meant to be like bumpers on a bowling alley, just there to assist you in case. They're not necessary. Struggles are not necessary. This is the truth, all right? So raising your vibration, this is about feeling good. When you're feeling good, you're connected to God. This is about, to be spiritual is to feel good and be happy. So at the very minimal, as spiritual people, we should be happy and feeling good. I mean, aren't we the freest, most authentic? So yes, we should be happy. So spirit is saying, focus on joy. Stop focusing on working hard, the money, because even though even people who are focused on this still are in lack. It's, it's so it's not about that. Even people who win the jackpot. Look how, how many lose it within the first 30 days. It's a very high percentage because it's not the money. Even if a million dollars came to you tonight, 10 million, if you're not in a place to retain it or mentally understand that frequency, you can only keep it and hold it for so long. Spirit wants you to stay in this frequency of joy. You're meant to experience more than just spurts, spurts of joy. You're meant to experience this all throughout your life, okay? And in your love life, you are meant to be in a loving relationship where you feel safe to just pour your love to the point where you can express it. There are no boundaries to the love that you can receive here is what I'm hearing. You are meant to be in a very bountiful relationship. Your life is very bountiful. Your ideas, your concepts, they're all brilliant. However, it's not about pursuing the ideas that are gonna pay off. Do what you naturally love and enjoy. When you're ready, share that and abundance will come. Let's not make this difficult that it needs to be. You have justice at the bottom, Libra energy. You're meant to experience justice. Okay, so until it's like we're, we're basically saying until I have this, all of this money and this pays off and this pays off, I can't focus on my dreams. I can't focus on this, but this is totally backwards. Okay, so you're really coming out of this work mindset. No more working, more creating. What can I create and share? Your creations are priceless. Therefore, your abundance and your flow will be also matching the desires that you have. Because once again, some of you have desires that you're, you're trying to receive. You have new desires coming in here. What is going on from your future self? I, I, they don't even want me to touch that, okay? We have justice at the bottom. What is going on here with card two? Thank you. 
Okay, yeah, we have the Ten of Swords. You're coming out of this energy, trying to figure it out. All of these plans, trying to work it out. I get it. I'm an Earth sign. I'm a Capricorn. However, it's already worked out for you. What's the point of being part of the 1% and being spiritual and having a gift if you are not relaxed and at peace at least? Is what I'm hearing. We should at least be at peace, right? And so this means you really have to open up yourself to letting good things happen to you without having to work hard for it, make it happen. Spirit wants you to see the miracles. And in order to do that, you got to let go of control. That's where a miracle happens. It's like, oh, wow, this is a miracle, which means you had no control at all of it. You had no parts. Let's get more of those, right? Unless you want to make it all happen. Do you want to make it all happen? Like some of you guys are like, oh man, I wish I could have. Oh, so it's the universe's job and not mine. Oh man, what's my job? What do I, it's like, why do we want jobs and steps? All right, so you've been working so hard trying to figure these things out here and you're coming out of this energy and spirit is saying, your guidance is if it feels good, follow it. Does it feel good? Does it feel good when I say, this is your higher self. Card two, does it feel good when I say, share your ideas with others and follow what brings you inspiration? Your desires are yours to claim. Does it feel good to know that all of the desires you claim by saying mine? Claiming means being open to receiving them. You can't claim them if you're trying to make them happen. You're saying I don't have them. And I know this is deep and that's why I said 1%. This is not clickbait. So if you found yourself here, welp, you're in geometry in the earth world. Because at this point, you could be a Capricorn. We have devil energy here. Okay, having a, you're having a deep connection with yourself. You will love yourself more than anyone else on this planet. That's the truth. Nobody can love you like you do. You're literally inside of you. Like, how else? You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Like, you're you nobody so spirit is saying follow what brings you inspiration share your ideas with others and what does that look like spirit for card two it looks like you've already are doing it stop overthinking keep facing your true north so spirit is saying you're already doing it there's nothing for you to ha make happen the ever unfolding rose you are forever evolving Okay, cracked open, it's happening for you, not to you. So anything that feels like it's postponed, redirected, it's redirecting you to what you truly desire. Okay, sometimes we think we know what we want. So another thing I'm getting for you, card two, sharing your ideas with others is some of your ideas will involve a lot of support. You have a lot of ideas that are meant to come to life, but you're not meant to make them come to life. You are really just the person that is bringing them to life. There's a difference, right? Bringing a cake and making a cake is different, right? So you bringing a cake is you, you're the cake showing up. So making the cake is like us thinking we have to make it happen versus bringing it to life which means you are bringing, it's a different feeling. You don't have to do anything, okay? It's gonna feel like you're not doing anything. Is, is, so we also have the devil, which means that you are coming into more material gains in your life. So more material things, earthly things, you are meant to experience it like a video game. Like you've come to earth to explore this planet and wanting to see what's out there. What can you do? What can you make? What does this do? I just see like an Aquarius child touching everything. Like, what does this do? What does this do? And what's that? And what's this? That's you. That's your true authentic you. And so that's why spirit is saying you're already doing it. Let's see who you're, you're shifting into. What version of you are you shifting into? Walt Disney. That's insanity. Ex Yo, I'm tripping. I'm tripping right now. We have a lot of distractions going on in the back. We have expand your energy. You are meant to be expansive. You're meant to spread your wings. You're meant to take up space. There's plenty to go around. So isn't it crazy? I started your reading with nothing is impossible. 
and you get Walt Disney, explore all your possibilities. It's like, how, how? All I'm doing is being super aware. And I can see that out of all four images, the one that brings the most excitement is card two. You're meant to experience excitement, card two. If this is your first card image, this is absolutely for you. If you're coming from another one, get prepared. You're preparing for more excitement, receiving without having to do a lot. Because if you want the reality where you have to do a lot to receive, it's going to suck. You're going to be in Greece and you're not going to be able to even enjoy it because you're stressed the hell out. So the point of bringing your dreams to life, heaven on earth, I have these dreams. I have these images of myself in places, wearing this, going here, going there, having this, being with this lover, having this type of love. And, I, and you're meant to bring this here. You're basically saying, this is what I'm seeing. I see myself in all of these places, but my body has to get there. That's the whole merging part. You need your body and self to experience it. So yeah, you can imagine all you want and dream, but you desire to experience it. And that's where your self comes into play. This is deep talk here. This is third eye talk. This is 0.001% of people can even, if you're still on this reading, 0.001% of people are even able to comprehend this message. I would have lost them a long time ago, but you're here still. Okay, what does that say about you? I just love it. Your, your reality is showing you who you are, and I'm just a reflection of part of that. So as your energy reader, Walt Disney, if you're here, you've been given a gift. Shout out to the tarotchest.com. Open your third eye if you really want to. Go down there. Walt Disney, you have a gift. You're a clairvoyant to see. You have a gift to see so much that you can see your future and you don't even know it. You already are seeing it. Why are you doubting it though? You're doubting it. It seems too big. It seems too good to, it's like, this is my, it's like the thing that's like, ooh, this, that. It's like, this though, that. <laughs> it's like, that's your life. See, the whole point, the whole block is us receiving it. It's too big for us to receive because we're so used to doing so much to get it. So you're coming up as Walt Disney. You have a gift. What you create comes to life. You have a desire to make your dreams come true. Do you know what that means? It means heaven on earth. It means what I'm seeing in my dream, I want to experience it here on earth. That's what dreams to reality means. I'm seeing myself in Bali. I want to go there. You're in Bali in your imagination, so your future self is there, but your body is here. And your body's like, oh, I want to be there daydreaming. I want to go there and there and there. And spirit's like, yeah, you're meant to. But if you're focused on the work and trying to figure out how to, why figure out what's already meant for you? You are meant to have shortcuts. These are your cheat codes, earth codes. Okay, you're meant to have a shortcut. So Walt Disney, people are going to call you brilliant, fascinating, Okay, shout out to the coaching calls I've been having. I actually met someone who literally is a Steven Spielberg. But do you know what it's like to see that and you don't? I'm just looking at you and you're like, okay, weird. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you're the next Steven Spielberg and you don't even know it. You're the next Walt Disney. You're meant to do the impossible. Did I not start with this? And this just came out. You've seen it. I can't plan it. In fact, that would stress me out to have to plan every card to make you believe. No, I don't need to make it up. It's destiny. I can't make it up. It's your destiny. I love it. And you have access to it just like I do, Spirit is saying. Okay, you don't have to rely on people to show it to you. All right, card two, though I am honored to be your oracle, you are also an oracle. Okay, if anything, we would be friends, crumbling. It's happening Everything is going out with the old, in with the new you, this new you. So the one when you're daydreaming and you're fantasizing about yourself, seeing yourself in your dream house, in your dream car, with your dream tribe. This is a different version of you. If you ever notice when you're meditating and you see yourself, 
It'll always be a different version of you. And you're multifaceted, so you're always shedding, always shedding beliefs that do not align. But if you know the truth, there's not much shedding to do because you just have the truth. You just have it. I know what I'm here to do. I know I'm connected to unconditional love. I feel it in my soul. I'm meant for an eternal love where I... Card two. When I tell you your life partner is from another planet, okay? I don't know who you're with right now, but I'm just letting you know this energy I'm picking up is like you two being together is getting into the spaceship. In fact, now that I feel like it, I feel like your image has a person sitting in your second seat. Okay, because there's two seats here, which is crazy. Isn't it so crazy to like pin part the messages? It's like, okay, I'm, I'm using the colors. And that's the thing we want to know. The universe is always communicating. Do you know how fun this is? Have fun. You're meant to explore and your creations are telling you what's, it's meant to be fun. It's meant to be fun, card two. And it's so exciting. And I see you and your partner in a freaking spaceship. Like they are making you feel like you're in a whole nother world. This would be a twin flame. This would be a version of you that is mirroring you. But this version of you is not stressed out, working, figuring out ideas, running around, trying to figure all this out. No, this version of you is way in a different space. And that's who you're becoming. And I can go on and on and on. I don't know how long I've been talking. All right. What else is here for card two? Because I'm trying to tell y'all this person. It's a fairy tale. It's a fairy tale. Because think about it. You being in love inspires you. What are you going to do when you're in love? You're probably going to write about it, sing about it, talk about it, create about it, write a movie about it. So it's beneficial for you to be in love and to be in this energy. But not just with a person, but with your life and self. Anything else here for card two? Repose, pause. So spirit is saying now is the time for rest. Take a time out and celebrate the mystery. Celebrate, trust the, trust the journey, unexpected secrets. So the reason why you're able to manifest the impossible is because you're not focused on just one way. Money is just one way to receive. It's one way. The impossible means there are infinite possibilities for this to happen. And you don't have to make it happen. So that's the fun of the mystery is the excitement behind it. But you do know one thing and you should know one thing. It works out in your favor. And if you just knew this, you would trust it. If you already knew you were supported, you would trust it. Any other messages before we transition into card three? You are exactly where you should be. Now you are expanding is what I'm sensing. You are expanding yourself, all right? To feel good is to feel God at the very bottom. Doing what feels good. How does the spiritual and the physical world come together? Feeling. It's the only way we can actually merge is through feeling. So if you guys are here, I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this message. If anything, I want to inspire you and let you know you are a creator. You are tapped in to the creator that brings the sun up every day and we don't know how. So you don't need to know how things are going to happen for them to happen because we see this happen every day. We see it happen every day. So trust more in your journey and trust more in what you're seeing and in your dreams. I'm moving on to card three. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video if you guys, if this resonates with you, like the video because then I know who's part of the 0.001% because I'll know this resonates. Image three, if you guys were drawn to image three for your first card, the message I'm getting is that there may be a lot of distractions around you at this time. This is actually proof and indication that you're upgrading. You are upgrading your character, just like in a video game. So you out of all four images are the only ones who have people on your card, which tells me that you are going through a different transition in your life and the transition is the reflections of you. So who do you, which version of you do you want to be reflected around you? The abundant version, therefore your friends may change with limited perspective. Um, a version of you that believes. So whatever version of you you're becoming, 
this is something that you're also attracting in others. I'm also hearing there's people around that just want attention. All right. There's a lot of attention seeking around. And I'm just seeing that it's just distractions from pulling you away from focusing on why you're here. So we're going to get into what the overall energy is and see what this is all about. Card three. Why is card three here? Out of all images, they were drawn to card three indulgence okay so we do have people here so you are meant to be surrounded with people who are mirroring the same version of you um people who are on that same frequency as you again you you're desiring to expand is what i'm hearing and you're desiring to expand therefore if the people around you are not it'll almost be like they're behind and so this new tribe that you're attracting is joy and friendliness and interaction so you are actually getting into more community and attracting people so people are very important on your next journey it could be part of your purpose whatever that may be what's the overall energy for card three you could be coming from card two as well so we have goal anything else here yes profession okay we have a profession change just dropped a career reading on the tarot chest so definitely check out that basically the overall message is that your career shift your career occupation and profession is changing so that your place of receiving because that's what a career path is it's the path where you can exchange and receive that's really what it is your desires are getting bigger so even for the people around you, your, your appetite's getting bigger, you're expanding. So therefore, people around you, the people you have around you, you're desiring to reflect that version of you, like people that inspire you or people that are also into pleasure and joy and indulgence and enjoying life and believing that having a good time in life is important. So we have imagination, very important. We just talked about that card two. You've seen how crazy that was, right? So those of you who are coming from card two, yes, you are definitely making room and paving ways and so if you find yourself here, there is a new profession, a new career, and your desires are getting bigger and they can't fit through that small, itty bitty, tiny little career door that you have. And so spirits like, can we expand it? And what do you want them to know? To relax, let this channeled message come through of your profession to you is what spirit is saying. It's not for you to overthink and do um, and not to be stuck in a loop, okay, of just Jumping into a career just because it's a career. Jumping into a career just because it's a career. But really take the time to relax and connect. It says the answers lie within your desires. I just, yes. It's like magic. We have imagination, ver uh, variety, fantasy, and mind. So I talked all about fantasy and imagination in card two. So definitely go back to that and check that out if you haven't. So your desires, the answers are there. Hmm. If you have a desire to have your own land, if you have a desire, if I look at your desires, card three, I would tell you, and you could probably see that, does this career path match your desires? See, we just get careers out of survival. But does it match your desire? What's the desire here? What is your life unfolding to be? What do you desire it to be unfolding? Let's see what that is for card three. What is their life unfolding to be? Warrior woman, have you answered your deepest calling okay so once again when you're just focused on survival take a break get off the treadmill a life's work not a season so spirit is saying life is not work okay so there's been a lot of energy being spursed off into many places and to maybe to conflict to people around you um having to maybe some of you live with people um, some of you work with people, just dealing with people. But again, remember, you all attracted each other on that same vibration. It's like going down a neighborhood. Everyone on that block has the same frequency. There's a reason you're all on that block. You all probably drive the same cars too. Like it's, you're all on that same frequency. And that's why they say sometimes move into a space where you desire to be or go to spaces where you desire to want, want to be, be around people who you're becoming, right? People who are freer, who um, have relationships that are easy, that are not always talking about the struggle and where they're coming from because unless you want to keep living in the, the vibration of struggle, it's just, you're, you're looking to have, look, we got indulgence I'm trying to hear all that. I'm trying to have fun and be in pleasure and do what I'm here to enjoy spirit. What is that? Reveal what that is here. Okay. We have yes. Spirit is saying, just say yes to what it is that you desire and enjoy. Let's get into your tarot and see what is that card three. What do we have here? 
two of cups, all right? So yeah, it is good connection. So you do desire to have good connections with people and to share your life, right? And to share your life, but the, the best feeling you're gonna have is when you're sharing a happy life. So first feeling your cup and then also attracting someone else. So I do see that you are, could be attracting a soulmate, will of fortune, something that's fortune for you. So community, people, relationships, if you're here, in card three, you will be cutting out some people, all right? Um, you're evolving. You're evolving, and I'm just seeing it's destined for you for you to meet more soulmates, people who are resonating with your soul, not just your characteristic traits and your zodiac sign and these shallow surface things, but really connecting with you, okay? Connecting with you, and let's see who that is. There's many versions is what I'm getting, okay? You could be a Gemini. You don't have to be. Card three, who are they becoming? Thank you. You have many cards that are flying out. You are becoming Audrey Hempbird, radiant love. You are attracting love, love and people. People, I'm seeing people in the stands with the big finger. You guys could be athletes. You could be in school. You could be doing something. You have goals here that you want to reach. Some of you, yeah, I'm definitely feeling like could be in school, trying to learn, learn more things. But Spirit is saying your imagination is the most important thing. If there's any school, it should be the school of imagination rather than degrees and material things because you don't want to live in the matrix. Okay, it's a matrix school. So unless you want to learn how to live inside of the matrix, which is why it's interesting because the video game's here, but you're outside of it. it it's reminding me of Neo from the matrix. It's like he's working, but he's the creator of the video game, which happens to be his life. So it's like really connecting with what it is that you desire to do. What if you had the choice? I don't think many of you realize you have the choice. You have the option. So radiating love, you desire to be around love, people who are supporting you, people who see you, but you must see yourself first. And you also have George Michael, okay, play, dance, and sing. So you could definitely be an artist. You can definitely be getting into art. I know Audrey, I believe Audrey is an actress. I'm not exactly sure. You guys will have to look into these people. Um, George Michael also singing. So this is just having a, you are just meant, if you're coming from card two, you know, but three, I think if this is your first card, you're just waking up to this. You are meant to live your dream. You're meant to play and dance and sing and have fun. Look at this at the bottom. I can't make it up. Play, have fun, celebrate. Don't be so serious, okay? We have tons of Virgo energy here. So serious. It's like, what's going on? The whole purpose was to have fun. We've come here to explore and experience. And along the way, you will meet people. But a lot, there's been a lot of influences around you that I'm picking up that may not have been as fun. So Spirit is saying what you're going through is very, very temporary. And to focus on what's destined for you with the Wheel of Fortune. And what is that? Whoa, that flew out. Nine of Cups. If you look that up yourself, it's a wish come true. You must believe in the power you have. Do you even know? Do you know that you have the option? And that's why I said to focus, Spirit is saying focus, leap here at the bottom, focus on what it is that you desire to do, break the chain. You're meant to do something different, meant to do something outside of the generation. It's like where you see a mother, a daughter, and then the granddaughter all doing the same thing. You're meant to do something differently. You're meant to do something differently. You're meant to live a life of a wish come true. Some of you, it could be acting, doing something you love, could be playing, dancing, singing. You'll have to see what aligns with you. And that's this discovery that you're currently going through. At the bottom, we have the moon, Pisces energy, discovering more of who you are is what I'm sensing here. Discovering more of who you are. This is subconscious. Once you align with that, you, you are destined to reach your goal, but what goal that word purpose expectation destination so the goal should be to live a life that brings you the most excitement the most love the most peace the most joy and in this sense your career has a lot to do with that so you could definitely be an earth sign um, figuring out what that would be and your desires are giving you the answer to this whatever you desire is actually meant to come to you however some of these desires 
cannot be obtained through the small door of a career path that you've been having. Some of you desire to have multiple properties. So if I look at your career path, you can see if it aligns or not. Does your career path align with your desires? And the truth is that what is going to mirror your dream life is a version of you that is being your greatest self. And so this tells me there's more awakening that you're doing to discover this person in you that is meant for greatness. And this person doesn't have to learn anything. It's you have natural gifts and talents that you're waking up to that will pave the path for you and they will reveal their own occupation. It's like I said in that career path reading on the tarot chest, I'm a tarot reader. Okay. Like I've made the most success, have the most freedom, financial freedom from reading tarot. Do you think in college, I'm like, hmm, what do I want to be when I grow up? But what occupation was going to allow me to express myself how I wanted to, wear what I want, work wherever I wanted to, create whatever I wanted to, say whatever I want to, and let me talk about the universe? What career path is perfect? You tell me. And as a Capricorn, that's why, shout out to Philippe, those of you who are part of Level 11, you know the mentorship I do every month, Philippe, okay, I also was activated. We're all being activated by someone. And I had all of these brilliant ideas for what? Trying to make it happen. But once I realized it was not made to happen, the path paved its way for me and tarot showed up on my doorstep. So... That happens to be the perfect career path. And as I'm expanding, my career path is expanding because my desires are expanding. But what you're looking for a needle in a haystack for the perfect occupation that's going to allow you to be around the right people with the right energy, not to mention if you're working for other people, right? So you're asking for a needle in the haystack. And that's why it, it will be exhausting trying to figure it out versus allowing it to come to you. Okay? And I'm telling you, it's aligned with something that you enjoy playing. It's aligned with playing. It's aligned with fun and joy. You're almost like, I can't believe I get paid for this. Sometimes that's how I feel. I'm like, I get paid for this? This is an odd occupation. But it's a seven-figure occupation. So... It's like as much as you're allow, able to receive, it could be delivered. But if I stayed in that cubicle working that salary job, I know some of you don't even realize, yes, whole energy reader in a cubicle, I would have never been able to receive that freedom and that, that financial gain or profit because I would have been like, through tarot? I don't even know tarot. I've never even, so you're telling me I'm going to be a millionaire. I'm going to make a million from tarot reading and online courses and digital products and tarot cards. So it's like this career path is not going to make sense for you. Three of cups, again, party celebration. Card three, it's time to celebrate, but celebrating with the right people to maintain that energy. So there's a lot of playing here. You're meant to do what you love. Whatever you're doing playing-wise, some of you guys could be getting into YouTubing, content creating, virtual reality, play, play, play. You can get paid to play. That's the truth. You can get paid to play, and then you're like, oh, my gosh, I'm, I just play to have fun, though. It's like a video game. Are you going to play at the arcade, and you're like, oh, I'm not going to play this game because I'm not getting paid? Some of you may do that. Maybe you only go to the games that give tickets away. But the point is to play because you enjoy it. And yes, you can get paid from it too, okay? It's kind of like a, the end result. It's, it's a guaranteed inevitable result. What else does your higher self want you to know? Why are you here? What messages are you here? 1%. You are wealthier than you think. I'm over here talking about millions. No other deck did we do this. So stop thinking because you're thinking too small. Think bigger. Go back to card two. That's, a, that's where you're going if you haven't been yet. Think bigger. Right? So that's why it's important for you to be around people who are also thinking abundantly. Your nature is abundance. That is your nat natural state is to be abundant, to be at peace. It is a natural state, which is why it feels so damn good. Okay, this is card three. Like the video if you guys resonate. Subscribe to become a part of the tribe. I'm going to move on to card four. 
In the meantime, I'm out. Image four, if you're here, don't worry. We haven't forgotten about you. This seems to be the common theme for you. It could have been that focus has not been on you a lot recently, and maybe it's time for a change here, for things to, for the focus to be on you. So maybe you're not used to the spotlight, maybe you're not used to things being about you, but I'm definitely sensing if you were drawn to card four, the biggest thing I picked up is that you were on the side or you were way in the background. And there were a lot of other perspectives in the image. So let's just see what's here. Card four, we have the four of swords, the page of cups. All right. There's something that's going to be coming in that brings you some excitement here with the Page of Cups. Something that you don't see with the Eight of Swords. I see you releasing yourself from a lot of fears, doubts, disbeliefs that you may have about something working out. Maybe it's something you love here with the Page of Cups. Clarify why the Page of Cups is here. Thank you. All right. We have the Tower in Reverse Scorpio energy. Let's see why the Eight of Swords is here. All right. Yes, I'm loving this energy. Yep, I just I just got it. Alchemist energy. All right, you're waking up to who you are, card four, who you are. Now, you already have an understanding of who you are, but with the magician here, we have a lot of distractions going on outside, and this is just telling me that, once again, there's been a lot going on, but how much of it has been about you, especially in a good way? So you are in this manifesting energy as the magician. And I just want to clarify what magician energy are you currently in at the at the moment? Card four. What are they currently in? Paula Yates. Hope is a gift. So you may bring hope to other people and not even realize it. All right. So I'm definitely getting some big, big energy here when it comes to being free and laughing. All right. Having a lot of fun. And so Paula Yates, I believe the energy that I was receiving from this card is that life is meant to be fun with the magician here and Paula Yates. I also feel like you are manifesting a life that is easy. Okay. You're coming into a life that's easy. You could be an artist. You don't have to be, but we have Love Deeply, Michael Hutchinson. So again, artists, poetry, your love is very, very deep. I do believe that maybe you have cared about a lot of people or taking care of a lot of people. I'm just trying to see what is this energy I'm picking up for image four here and why you're here out of the 1%. Okay, this card flipped. This is how the universe works. So I don't know. Out of all the cards here, it flipped over. So let's just see. What does the universe want you to know? To relax. Relaxation. Peace is here. Tranquility is here. And I'm pretty sure this says easiness. Ease. Relax. Relaxing is a sign that you are in your manifesting energy. I don't know where we've come into making manifesting an action that we have to go manifest now. It's like, no, manifest is receiving. I'm receiving this. Okay? Once again, lots of distractions. It's like, it's finally about you, but maybe people have been overlooking you for some time now because they've wanted attention. Maybe you just don't care about attention. You know? It's like, what, what's, why is that necessary? So I definitely sense that you're coming into a, a place of peaceness, tranquility, your peace of space, peace of mind is going to be very important at this time for you to relax. It's a sign that you understand and trust that everything's going to be taken care of. There's no point of being part of the 1% if you're stressed. The 0.001% would know that the universe is making it happen and that there's nothing for you to do except for to receive and enjoy. And if you want work to do, then figure out why you're not receiving. Even with this magician card, her hands are like this. Why are they closed? So afraid to open our hands, to release. How can you receive with your hands closed? So all of these little things I'm picking up are simply signs. Like I'm seeing you on the, the image here, but I'm seeing you from the side. And then I'm seeing a console in the back and I'm, I'm seeing this as a point of view. And you'll understand the universe and you will have your own inside communication. Just like 222, it doesn't all mean the same. Where were you when you seen the numbers? 
Okay, so it's not about making anything happen. Now I see people trying to see the angel numbers. It defeats the purpose. It's when it's not random, you're making it happen. It's coming from you. You don't get to experience the magic of thinking about a song and then it popping up versus okay i'm thinking about a song i'm gonna go make it happen and, and keep pushing it until it happens until that song comes up like trying to make this happen it's like i'm gonna set my alarm for 11 11. it's that defeats the purpose it's no longer the universe communicating with you it's you communicating with you you set the alarm you knew it was coming you know what i mean like leave room for the miracles and that's why spirit's like, listen, I got to put a blindfold over you because if you see too much like that, so Raven, you mess it up. You start to mess it up by getting in the way, natural disaster, risk, frustration, survival. Spirit wants you to relax so that the answers can come to you. Your answers will always come. There will always be a solution and you'll always make it. You'll always figure it out. You always do. Think about that. You always figure it out. That's because... You, the universe is always there to channel this specific or to put that person exactly in the right place. Okay, let's see what's happening. Where are you going? Um, they're bringing me to another deck. They're bringing me to a lot of decks. Okay, now you're like, I want to know, I want to know. And so the page of cups is here too. I want to clarify, why is that page of cups here? This is the energy that you're in. You're going from a page of cups to a magician. All right, it's important to understand magic in a sense of, you don't have to make this magic happen. The magic is already out there. You just have to be open to receiving it. And sometimes that means not knowing. So we have waiting at the bottom. So page of cups, why is that here for image four? Thank you. Letting go, release, farewell, and permanent. So this is a lot of letting go. Letting go of what? Trying to figure it out. Spirit, your future self has a message for you. What are they trying to, what do you want them to know about letting go? Emphasize. Be grateful along the way to raise your vibration. So what Spirit is saying is that letting it go is also coming from a place of knowing that it's already working out. And if you are looking for peace, let me bring you the peace of mind by letting you know it's going to work out. And it works out in your favor if you allow it to work out which is why spirit's like, can you please relax and let this happen? Can you please get some rest? Because you're creating these natural disasters because your magic, it's like you're, you have these superpowers and you're just like spewing them around, not knowing like, why is this happening? Why is this happening? Well, your gifts are active. They're working. So we know that. But it's just possibly ma manifesting disastered moments something that you're constantly focused on. Spirit is saying that your perspective on life will be admired, okay? So it's important for you to have your own perspective on life. What do you think about life as a magician? We also have your purpose is to simply exist. So if you're wondering, why am I here? What is this all about? You're here because you exist. You're here to experience. And there are certain dreams that have been given to you and they're given to you all the time. Page of cups, you're a little bit into it. You could be an artist of some sort. You could have an idea of what this is with the page of cups. All right, I know we have Yana Lates, we have singer, artist. All right, we also have painter, magician. Okay, you can be anyone you wanna be. That's the truth with a magician. It's, you're always evolving. You're constantly evolving in this sense. Spirit is saying to be grateful along the way. This is not about you should be grateful. Grateful is a sign that you know it's here. Like you know it's on its way. It's, it's a reaction. So when you're grateful, it's a sign that you already have it or it's on its way. It's arriving. And the first feeling you get is gratitude. So along the way, okay, because some of you could be waiting and that's, you have to understand, waiting is creating. Waiting is choosing to, you waiting is you creating a reality of waiting. I know, I know, it's a lot. But waiting, the spirit, the universe is waiting too. And so instead of waiting, what are you waiting for? More money, more time, more of this, more what? 
What are you waiting for before you do what you love? Stop waiting. Do what you love. Everything else will come. That's what I'm hearing. And it doesn't matter if it's very small, like painting your rooms. Do what you love. Channeled messages will come. You'll be in the vibration of love. The, the truth is, is to shift your vibration into more love. Let's see what else you want them to know, spirit. They're here, image four, bloom. Okay, you're getting prepared to receive a lot of recognition. Look ahead, spirit is saying, you're a visionary. You have the ability to see ahead. You're a visionary, you're a clairvoyant. Winning, if you've seen ahead, the point of being part of the 0.001% is because you can see Steve Jobs. He's seen the iPhone becoming the iPhone from the iPod. But how did he see it before it was here physically? How did he know what the buttons were going to look like? How did he know he channeled it the same way you have the ability to? This is the truth, but you must focus on you instead of everyone else. Look at you. Why are you so great? That's where you're blooming. Your recognition is coming in. A lot of acknowledgement and being seen, which you probably don't even care about, which is why it's meant for you. Okay. It just comes with it. Someone who is doing something differently, someone who's winning. You're not, you think you're going to win and people are going to be like, okay, let's, let's go ahead and head out. No, people are going to look at you when you're winning. People are going to look at you when you're winning. Yes, I know. I know. So victory, succeeding outcomes, you are blooming. You are meant for victory. So that alone should bring gratitude because it's like, okay, I can see this in my, I can see this with my third eye, clairvoyance. This is what I've been talking about all video. So once again, for the last time, open your third eye, the tarotchest.com. We talk about this. And so you're unraveling it and it's so fun. You're a clairvoyant. You have the ability to see where you're going, see how you're winning, see your victory, see yourself holding the trophy, see yourself as the winner. What are you seeing? I'm not going to say that again, but that's so Raven. So sometimes it doesn't help for us to see what's going to happen if we're trying to make it happen. And it's like, what's the point? It's already going to happen. You're already a winner. You already won. There is no competition is what I'm seeing. So all you have to do is accept this no matter what you do. So spirit is saying, look ahead. What do you see? And then automatically you become grateful because you're like, wow, this is the life I get to live. How exciting. This is the life I get to live. And spirit's like, yes. So look ahead. Look at the desired outcome. What's the outcome? When, you, when it goes your way, what does that outcome look like? And once you see it, you can't undo it. You can't not know it's meant for you once you see it. But you have to see it somewhere. And when I say see, I'm saying your third eye. That's why you're blindfolded here. You don't need these eyes to see where you're going. Because once again, Steve Jobs didn't see any of this physically. He had to have seen it somewhere. We're all going to a space. Where are we going? Keeper of the earth, you are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. You are called to do this. You are being escorted into your winning match. Every match you go into, you should know you've already won. It's reminding me of Jake. What's his name? Jake Paul. Yeah, he has a spiritual teacher, and this is why he wins celebrate the win before you walk on stage. You already won. The game's over. <laughs> like literally, if you knew this, you would just occupy that space. You're already a winner, babes. There's nothing for you to do. So for those of you who want something to do, <laughs> look ahead, let it unfold. It's not happening to you. It's happening for you. Everything is aligned, but where is it guiding you to? Spirit, where is it guiding them to? It's all unraveling, but it's guiding them to what I just said, their imagination. Capture, dreams, create. This is where we're going. And this is why I said third eye. This is where we're going. You want to see. And it's, it could be challenging to live in this life if you're not seeing where you're going. 
And the only way you can see where you're going without physically seeing physically is to look in the future. Where do you think the future is? My gut is on fire. I don't know who you are, card four. Okay, many of you may have made your way all the way down to card four. This is some juicy stuff here. That's why I said 0.001% are ready to hear this message. Those who are not probably clicked off. It's not for everyone to, under, to be able to receive a life that is so amazing. To be the magician. Everyone's not ready to celebrate you winning when they still have not figured out their losses. So people around you will be changing. You are meant to be seen, not because you want to, but because of who you are. And your imagination is a gift you have. So creating is a gift you have. Being creative means you're aligned with God, creator. I'm being like God when I'm creative. And you're here to create your life. But once again, we're going above. When you're imagining, you're already seeing the life that's created for you. That is the truth. And I can't keep it in any longer. And the cards are just helping us. Okay? So reflectiveness, musings, contemplation. So now it's time we have stubbornness at the bottom. So yeah, there are some adjustments that you are making so that you can receive more information and more knowledge about how some of this works, all right? And it's not too good to be true. If it's too good, that means it's too true. Good is God, and that means follow good. Expect a financial breakthrough we have here. So Spirit is saying, hey, you've come to this reading. I want you to know expect a financial breakthrough. And again, doesn't that make you feel grateful? Automatically, you get excited, like, oh, yes, financial breakthrough. What is that that you feel? It's your higher self. It's your spirit saying, yes, yes, financial breakthrough, which is a confirmation. It's arriving. So automatically you become grateful. So it's not about be grateful for what you have. It naturally gives you a vibration of receiving more because you're grateful, which means you've are, it's telling the universe, I've already got this. Yes, I know this is true. So it's deep, it's deep, it's deep. And I love that I, I, I labeled it this. You're not meant for everyone at the bottom here. You're not meant for everyone. Life is an opportunity for exploration and adventure. You're here for adventure and exploration. Your life is meant to be an exciting mystery. Yes, and we will leave that there. All right, last... All right, last message. Your life is meant to be an exciting mystery. Life is an opportunity for exploration and adventure, and this is why you're here, and Spirit wants you to be reminded of that. All right, so you are definitely connected to ancestors. You are definitely connected to a spiritual realm here. We have Seed in the Light, Laying Foundations, Divine Plan, Grandmother Anna. So some of you guys could definitely be connected to a grandmother or someone um, could have passed or, or someone who is an ancestor, someone who laid the foundation. If not, this, then this would be you laying the foundation for your children. And just imagine, the, the more you know the truth, of what you're here to do and how easy it is and how loved you are unconditionally, you're able to teach this to the people around you and your children and their children, and they're able to find the truth at a younger age and discover who they are so they can be great at a very young age. So you could be laying the foundation as well. So if you guys are here, I'm hoping this blessed you. I'm hoping you feel special and you feel like the 0.001% that you are like the video, subscribe to become a part of the tribe. I will see you guys in the next reading. It's only gonna get more exciting from here. I only have more expansive, amazing ideas that I'm excited that I already see I'm gonna be sharing with you. So definitely follow me here, follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok as I've been live there. So shout out to Light Tribe, some of you were there. We're going above tarot and we are connecting with the highest light and bringing the highest truth of spirituality because there's a lot of information out here. And the biggest drive I have is for nobody to have to experience being misled out of spirituality. I also dealt with a lot of manipulation 
around spirituality and my desire to want to get to know God and self and why I was here. And a lot of people could take advantage of that. So it's important for me to align myself with even more influence. Shout out to all of you guys who are building the channel and the subscribers, because to be in position of influence, to know that I'm aligned with the light. And so for me, it is a deep desire for myself to be positioned so that no one has to be misguided out of spirituality because that could be a tough thing to get out of is spiritual manipulation and spiritual abuse or taking advantage of the spiritual gifts that you have as a leader. So for me to be in a position of influence is very important to be in front of the crowd saying, hey, no, this is not true. You're loved unconditionally and you actually don't have to work hard and you don't have to fight for this. You are loved unconditionally. So if you're here, glad to be with you and I'm honored to bring you this message until the next reading.